Good morning, everyone. So I was standing there in the kitchen this morning doing dishes. Not a lot of dishes. I didn't leave like anything in the sink or anything. Just got thinking about as the water was running. I got thinking since I believe before I was born, New York State has been hydroelectric. Ran on water. Some people are ran on wind mills or wind turbines or whatever those things are called. And some states are ran by coal. But we're ran on hydroelectric. This is something I've been talking about with friends and family behind the scenes. I've been talking to my parents about it and they come home here the other day and well, actually it was like weeks ago, but they had talked to a friend and I'll get that, I'll get to that in a second. Well, <clears throat> many of you know, I'm sure of the six point whatever million dollars or billion, I'm not sure if it's million or billion, I'll, I'll figure that out in a second too. Got a lot of seconds here of this line running from Canada through the US all the way down to New York City. Now, I know personally that they've been turning power off to certain areas while running this power line from Canada to New York City, okay? I've been watching this line, looking at this line, studying this line of direction Okay, and then I've been watching something that has disturbed me. But let's get back to the water. Here in New York, we are already hydroelectric. Two years ago, and East, yeah, it was two years ago and a year ago, but it was mostly two years ago, they had shut down some beaches because the Army Corps was working on the hydroelectric, updating some things, okay? Again, hydroelectric. Why, why, okay, does New York City need hydro from Canada all the way down when New York State the rest of New York State already has hydroelectric. So they're running through these counties from way up to the Can Canadian border, all the way down to the city. Well, I want you guys to take a look at this map and watch this little hook it does. Okay, so that hook goes all the way from the Can Canadian border all the way down to the city. And if you watch that, they can't run through the Adirondacks. They can't do it. Now, Niagara Falls is shared by Canada and the US. It's a lot of water, right? Hudson River <laughs> is where most of most people get their hydroelectric, but you have plenty other waterways. We have almost 3,000 lakes. I mean, for sure, natural lakes, 2,800 in the Adirondacks, but they had to go around. <laughs> so they went down, down, down and then they make this big hook back in because that's the lower part past the Adirondacks. But my question is, is why the hydro has to go way, way up when we have all these lakes and rivers? Anyway, just a question, okay? My parents told me that a friend of theirs, and this has happened to many people, he owns his own land. He has a horse ranch, okay? A horse ranch. These people that are working on this hydroelectric line 
went through his land, tore it up, and he has a horse ranch. They tore his land up. And I asked my parents, well, can he say no? Like, why are they going through his land? Like, why can't they go around? Can they say something? What if one person said no? What if one person stood up and got other people to say, hey, what you're doing and how you're doing it is wrong. I guess they have some kind of right of way. They have some kind of right of way. It just has been disturbing me for weeks. And they've been turning areas of power off on a Saturday from 7.30 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon during the winter to do this. Yeah. I saw that they are choosing some milder days. But why didn't they do that over the summer? Why didn't they do that? Maybe it wasn't passed fully yet. I'm not sure. But these are some questions that I've been asking. So I'm asking you guys also to do some research on why we have to go all the way to Canada, to go all the way to New York City, when all of New York, other than the city, is already hydroelectric. All right, so this is gonna be very roughly done, kind of like me today, rough. <laughs> so this was September, 2022 or 2023, okay, the 22nd of September, 2023, where in the Times, it said, new scientists, massive power line will send Canadian hydropower to New York. But again, the headline, New York is already ran on hydroelectric, okay? New York City has begun construction on a project to hook up its grid to hydroelectric power plants in Canada via a 546 kilometer long transmission line. All right. Okay. So that long transmission line will carry electricity from hydropower plants in the Canadian province of Quebec. Once completed the six billion, so there's our answer from earlier, not million, billion, six billion project aims to provide New York City with 1,250 megawatts of renewable energy. All right, so this is where we're going to continue reading, and I can't because I can read it on my phone, but I can't read it here, so let's figure this out. Um... So the centerpiece of the Champlain Hudson Power Express, which again is, is in New York, okay? <sighs> so I was reading in this, and I'm going to have to go back to my phone apparently and figure out how I'm going to put this in here because it's not coming up on my laptop. Um, hmm. They were talking in this article about Maine and Massachusetts. And it didn't go through because the natives fought this. Why? All right, so I need to figure out how to do this um, and find this article without having to go through a bunch of stuff. So let's just copy the headline, open a new tab, and see what comes up. Okay, so I have it here, finally. And continue reading. Yeah, it's still going to do that. Okay, so. Um, hmm. Let's see. We're going to find another way. Okay. Well, for a minute, let's just... Um, this article by the Bloomberg says that New York line on track. So 
it goes from that article, which I don't know why it's blocking on my computer the rest of that to read. I'm going to clip some things for you guys to read. We're just going to move on. So the same thing with this one. I don't know why I can get these from my phone and not get them from my laptop. <laughs> Everything is very, very odd. So anyways, I've been watching something else about these uh, nanoplastics and bottled water and other parts of water. Like, why is this a thing all of a sudden? So they're saying that cancer-causing chemicals found in 40 popular New York State food items. <laughs> they're finding, let's see, McDonald's, Trader Joe's, Chipotle, Burger King, Coca-Cola, Wendy's, and more. Widespread presence of plastics found in food sold in New York State. Well, that's interesting. So they found flathlates in 99 products of products it tested. Flathlates are also called forever chemicals. The unexpected ingredient is something called plastic sizer. That's a weird word. It, it sounds like a Marvel character. <laughs> um, a chemical used to make plastic more flexible and durable. Today's plastic sizers, the most common of which are called flathlates, show up inside almost all of us. Right along with other chemicals found in plastics, including bisphenols, B-I-S-P-H-E-N-O-L-S, -S, such as BPA, CR states. Both are linked to long list of issues, including cancer, diabetes, reproductive disorders, neurological impairments of developing fetuses and children, and even death according to the Endocrine Society and International Pollutants Elimination Network. So I don't know if this has any connection of the water thing going from Canada to New York City. I have no idea. But this is, um, you know, I was kind of ignoring the whole thing with the bottled water. I mean, I was like, not ignoring it. I was keeping a mental note. But then I come across this this morning while looking at the water line for hydro power going from Canada um, to New York City. And this is really bothering me on why I cannot get to these articles. So anyways, I will clip these things and put them in here. And I'm sorry um, about this long video about this but I'm working on something and it's been really busy and I'm just trying to get this out the best that I can, which is really messy, kind of like me, messy. So mom and dad are doing great. Dad's much better. They're moving back home. They actually already have, um, but they are in the process um, of a couple more truckloads that need to go back and forth from here back to their house. So. Um, thank you all for your prayers, and they're doing great, and um, yeah, so um, again, keep your eyes on the water, people.